So you gotta grab your bicep, grab your own bicep. Oh yeah. Yes, and then you gotta put this hand right. behind the head. And then you just now you just give her a squeeze. Like that? Choke <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. So yeah. Today is a big day, y'all. Today, we're filled with a tiny office. Tiny office is about to get filled. We got a special guest, Patrick Wilson is in the building. It may seem ra random, it does, but Patrick Wilson is a huge MMA fan, and he's coming in on a tiny office with me. So, yeah, I'm gonna bring you out with me to come see what that's like. Oh, Rosa, look, come. Come here, Rosa. Look, there's a cat right there. But anyway, big, 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 big guest, and we're gonna have some good fun with it. Um, Ask him a few questions about MMA. Typical typical show that no we normally do. Um, yeah, it's gotta remember my intro. Literally my intro, but I'm terrible at that memorizing shit like that. So matter of fact, I'm practicing with y'all. Let's practice. <coughs> Yo, what up y'all? Welcome to the tiny office. Welcome back. Today we have a special guest um, with an incredible body of work. You may have seen him in movies like The Watchmen, Lakeview Terrace. The Conjuring, the entire series of Insidious. Um, he's recently also made his directorial debut. Please welcome actor, director, and MMA fan, Patrick Wilson. Woo! Boop, 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 boop. Natural, you know what I mean? Really excited to kick this off today, so we're gonna head out all the way over to Meta, Meta headquarters, show them around Meta headquarters, shoot a phenomenal show. And a dope ass vlog for y'all. And that's that. Oh, new teeth. New teeth alert. <laughs> Quick fit check. Minus a Dewey, obviously. Pajama top. Some nice boot cut jeans. We got the green Rickies. Madarud, you know? I think that's Troy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, God. I'm like, yo, I'm about to move my fucking car. But she about to move her shit too, so fuck it. <laughs> fuck class and kiss. Don't fuck her around, you know what I mean? This is real. Oh, oh, oh. I was gonna get him the giant one, but. Oh, this shit. Still get the, let's still get the job done. <laughs> <laughs> now she in the camera like this. Now she, she fixing her makeup in the camera like, uh, <laughs> nah, keep that same energy. <laughs> Boom. She's recording me, recording me. Or oh, I'm getting recorded while I'm recording me. She's taking a photo. How, how, how you word that? How you word it? Well, I was taking I don't a know. photo of her taking a video of me taking a video of myself. Oh, look at my phone right here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> my man, look who it is. Look who it is. <laughs> I just have a quick question. Yeah. So did anything weird happen like on the set? Because I know like a lot in horror movies they say like. You yeah. Know, like... Uh, the first one that did. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> one of the uh, the the young girl who's now not so young, Joey King. Yeah, she she had um, bruises all over her body. And I ran into her. I, my kid, one of my kids, was uh, was six. So I went to a uh, pediatrician's office over the weekend, and I ran into Joey and her mom there. And I said, "Oh God, why are you?" And we'd only been shooting for like a couple weeks. Um, and when a kid's like twelve or thirteen, and in a horror movie, and when you're in an R-rated movie, typically, you know, the kids don't read the script. They don't know what's going on. They just do their part. Yeah. You know, usually the, the parent does to obviously okay them being in it. But um, but so I see Joey in, in the in the uh, 
in the pediatrician's office and I asked the mom, I said, what's, what's wrong? What, what? So she's got these bruises all over her body and here, like that's in the movie, like that's the first mm. stage of me like taking over. And I just kind of paused, I was like, uh, and I didn't want to <laughs> say like, you're kidding, right? Like that's literally in the movie. And she wasn't anemic. It wasn't like it, she didn't, wasn't, she just doesn't do any stunts. Kids don't do stunts in movies. So they literally just appeared. And uh, I think it's about after a month, right when she stopped shooting, it went away. Wow. And they came back. Wow. It's a now, true story. Do, do you believe in, um, you know, paranormal? In dolls? Yeah. Well, is it the paranormal activity and like, that <laughs> kind of stuff? Um, I think there's like other forces and energy at play. I don't sure. know if it's like, there's a ghost right here, and his yeah. name is Dave, you know? Uh, hi, Dave. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know that, but I think, I, I look at it the same way, like, I mean, it happened to me today, where you're thinking of a, of a guy, you know, you think of somebody, and then they text you, and you're like, dude, I was just gonna uh. text you. Like, I think that's, that's enough to me to say there's other, Forces There's just other things at play. For sure. You know? Agreed. So whether that's religion, whether that's scary dolls, whatever that is for you, I do feel like, because there's just too much. I mean, literally having me today, I've, I've been meaning to call like my son's like PT guy, <laughs> he's doing physical therapy and like been meaning to call him, meaning to call him. And yesterday I was like, okay, I'm going to call him tomorrow morning. And I swear to you, within 10 minutes of we going to my phone to call him, he texts me, hey man, how and I haven't talked to him in like four months. Wow. Hey, just thinking about you. And I was like, I, 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 was just gonna text you. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So that's enough for me to be like. Do you? Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Do, do you I, I think we're it? on the same page. Yeah. We're on the exact same page with yeah. that. You wanna slap one of Renick and choke? Oh you slap, <laughs> slap one of Renick and choke on a fighter? Hey. You know. It's a one one oh, chance. God. I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> oh. So now you gotta put that hand behind your behind your neck. Okay. Yeah. Like that? So where's it? Oh, see, there we go. So you gotta grab your bicep, grab your own bicep. Oh, yeah. Yes, and then you gotta put this hand right. behind the head. And then you just, now you just give her a squeeze. Kind of like your halal guys. The middle is going to be like a chipotle, cadoba type situation, and then the far right is barbecue. Chicken? Nah, tofu. I got beef. I got beans, rice, and then the top of the um, Chicken? Yeah. Chicken. Come on, like nachos. Yeah. 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 And it's like rice and the, wait, hold on. You said you don't, you make the bolillo, but you don't we don't, we don't roll. Yeah. So like I take the shell, I toast it up, and then put it in the bowl right here, and then kind of fill it up, and then when you go sit down, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys, you know, another episode of Tiny Office, another episode, another vlog, and uh, yeah, we got some cool shit today, we got shit done today, and matter of fact, I'm eating gelato, gelato's good as hell, Troy, you Heat coming. You already seen the heat. Wait, damn. Yeah. Sorry, you already seen it. It's here. I hope you enjoyed the heat. Hope you enjoyed the heat. Boop, boop, boop.